Here's Hillary! It's hard to think of a time over the last 30 years during which Hillary Rodham Clinton wasn't part of the national news cycle. From her role as an activist first lady in the 1990s, to her position as a New York senator, then presidential candidate, and secretary of state, she's been an almost omnipresent figure on the American stage. She has been through almost every version of what one can expect of somebody in public life. She's taken hits. She's had incredible successes. She's admired, she's feared, um, and now is really that final act. Her unmatched resume, along with established political machine and ability to raise huge amounts of money, has made Clinton the overwhelming favorite for the Democratic nod. And unlike in 2008, when she battled a fresh-faced then-Senator Barack Obama for the nomination and lost, this time around, Clinton isn't just the clear front-runner on the Democratic bench. She's pretty much the entire bench. But that concerns some Democrats. She does come with a lot of liabilities. The first is that she is just someone who has been in the public eye for so long. Americans tend to want something new and different, and there's just no way that she can completely fulfill that for people. The other problem with the Clintons is that they just come with a lot of their own baggage. And controversies from ongoing Republican inquiries into Clinton's role in the 2012 Benghazi attacks to recent scrutiny about her use of a private email address to conduct official business while serving as Secretary of State. It harkens back to questions about secrecy, transparency with the Clintons. And provides fodder for her foes. Hillary Clinton embodies the corruption of Washington. While the latest questions created a snag in what was supposed to be a well-orchestrated campaign rollout, Clinton's team insists she is better prepared this time for the run. They just feel like no one else can bring to the table the set of experiences that she has had. And in some ways it's true, she really is a unique candidate. Very few people have been able to compile this record. And they hope Clinton's potential to be the first female presidential nominee will give her a boost that balances any burnout. That will be new. That will be fresh. That will be empowering for so many people. So in that particular case, gender may trump any Clinton fatigue. A gamble for Democrats hoping to retain the White House, but one, at least for now, they appear willing to make. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.